I know deep in my heart, in my soul, that without Johnny Johnson, there'd have probably been no Chuck Berry. Yeah. Or it would certainly not have been on the scale that, uh, that it, it, it came to. I could hear him saying in the, in the, in the band, but it's Chuck Berry be saying, go Johnny, go. Did y'all ever hear that song? Johnny, go, Johnny, go. Go, Johnny, go. Now, this was him right there. to him and I said, you're Johnny Johnson. He was the leader of the, the great Chuck Berry's band. He said, you know, I used to be with Chuck Berry. And I said, well, didn't Chuck Berry used to be with you? Johnny Johnson. I was 16 or 17 and I was listening to Chuck Berry records on the radio and Who's that piano player? Well, when I was a teenager, I learned how to play the piano by listening to Chuck Berry. It's nice to meet the man that I learned how to play the piano from. <laughs> Thank you. And this fellow comes in, and I see him standing over kind of in the wings, you know, and so I said to Chuck, I said, who is that? In my mind, he was the, the father of rock and roll piano. Chuck said, oh, that's Johnny Johnson. You mean that piano player that's on your record? Maybe they would have been hits without him, but with him, they were monsters. It just couldn't have been any more perfect, the piano playing on those records. So I grew up listening to his, his piano playing and going, man, whoever that guy is, man, <laughs> he's a mother. <laughs> took Boogie Woogie and jazz and mixed it up and uh, out came rock and roll, and uh, it wasn't his fault. <laughs> Don't blame it on him. He couldn't help himself. New Year's Eve, 1952. The Johnny Johnson Trio is booked at the Cosmopolitan Club. Johnny needs a replacement. He phones Chuck Berry. Like I say, Johnny Johnson was the bricklayer. Chuck was, Chuck was up there showing you how beautiful the building was when it was finished, but Johnny Johnson laid the brick. There's this sound which you assume is Chuck but it, it's like 25% of it is Chuck. The rest of it is Johnny. He's as close to, you know, being a founding father of rock and roll as we have, and they ought to put him on a stamp. Ripped off. <laughs> Johnny got shortchanged by Chuck. Now, yes, I felt that, that, that they were, uh, that actually it should be Barry Johnson. Yeah, and when it came down to, you know, most of those songs, I think without Johnny, the, those records would not have fallen into place the way they did. And that was my belief, and still is. <laughs> All the musicians knew who he was, but the public didn't, you know? And uh, I think it's time the public knows something, should know about what this man's contributed to rock and roll. <laughs>